DIY plumbing, how to replace a toilet. It's quite simple to replace your old or malfunctioning toilet. The latest technology in plumbing has made it possible to design water-efficient toilets. Modern toilets are overcoming the performance issues that came with earlier models. It's actually possible to spend below $250 to replace an inefficient toilet unit with a top quality and high efficiency toilet. All you need to do is making your choice wisely. Tools and supplies you will need. A sponge and bucket rubber gloves towels supply tube utility knife putty knife adjustable wrench a channel type of pliers regular pliers. Toilet seat bolts for the toilet seat screwdriver penetrating oil wax ring that has a flange wax ring that doesn't have a flange teflon tape hacksaw. Required skills, using hand tools, lifting at least 20 to 25 kgs, making some compression joints. Difficulty level, moderate, you will need to spare at least an hour to complete this project. Make sure you buy a toilet that fits the space. You should rather measure the existing space to ensure it'll fit perfectly. Steps to follow when replacing a toilet. Step 1. First, remove the existing toilet. Before detaching anything, ensure the water supply to the toilet is turned off at the stop valve. Empty the toilet by flushing it while holding the toilet handle for some time to ensure it flushes longer than normal. Use a sponge to empty any water left in the tank. Next, start unthreading the toilet coupling nut. This is the nut connecting the toilet tank with its water supply. Use a channel type of pliers to unthread it. In case you own a wet vacuum, use it to dry any water left in the bowl and tank. Step 2. Use a pair of pliers or box wrench to grip each toilet tank bolt. You can stabilize each bolt using a slotted screwdriver while removing them. In case the nuts feel stuck, apply some penetrating oil on them. Allow for the oil to sit before attempting to unthread them. If the nuts are still stuck, you can cut them off using a hacksaw. Then remove the old tank and discard it. Step 3. Next, unthread the nuts holding the toilet bowl on the floor. Start with prying off any bolt covers using a screwdriver. Use a channel type of pliers or locking pliers or socket wrench to loosen each nut on the toilet tank bolts. If the nuts feel stuck, apply some penetrating oil on them and allow it to sit before trying to unthread them. If you're still unable to unthread them, cut them off using a hacksaw. Then tilt the bowl and detach it. Step 4. You can now do away with the rag by removing it from the opening of the drain and insert new toilet bolts, made of brass, into the flange slots at 9 and 3 o'clock. Rotate each bolt at a one-quarter turn to ensure the heads won't be withdrawn. Next, put the washers or plastic keepers on the new bolts. Then put the nuts and secure them onto the flange. Next, unwrap the new wax ring. Then position it ring on the flange. Step 5. Lower your new toilet over the ring such that the toilet bolts enter the bolt holes on the stool. This may be tricky to do, thus be patient when doing it or get assistance. Next, press the toilet downwards to seat securely in the ring. Remember to check whether it's level. In case it's not level, use some pennies beneath it to level it. Thread the washers and toilet nuts on the toilet floor bolts. Tighten the nuts a little bit one by one while alternating from one nut to the other. Avoid over tightening the nuts. Use a hacksaw to cut off the exposed bolt section above the nuts. Then cap the bolts. Next, apply tile cork all around the toilet base while leaving the back area open to allow water to escape. This will allow you to detect a leak. Step 6. You can now attach the water tank. Some toilet tanks usually come with pre-installed fill and flush valves. However, if your toilet doesn't come with pre-installed valves, you'll need to install them yourself through the water tank opening. Tighten the spud nut on the threaded side of the flush valve. Next, insert a spud washer over the valve spud nut. Step 7. You can adjust the toilet fill valve if necessary. Step 8. Next, position the toilet valve inside the toilet tank. Then push the new valve shank downwards from the bottom while tightening its lock nut with your hand. Don't use any tools to tighten the nut. Strictly use your hands. Step 9. Lay the tank on its backside. Thread a washer, rubber one, on each bolt. Insert each bolt from within the water tank. Next, thread another washer, brass one, on the tank from below. After that, thread a hex nut on the bolt from below. Next, tighten them a one-quarter turn. Avoid over-tightening them. Step 10. Lift the water tank and position it over the toilet bowl. Position the spud washer over the opening and insert the bolts through the bolt holes. Next, put washers on each and every bolt. Start by inserting a rubber-based washer. Then insert a brass-based washer. 
Next, insert a wing type of nut on every bolt. Tighten them all evenly. Step 11. You can use a slotted screwdriver to stabilize the toilet bolts from the interior part of the toilet tank. However, only tighten the toilet nuts and not the toilet bolts. You can press the tank a little bit on the rear, front, or side to make it level while tightening the nuts with your hand. Avoid over tightening the nuts as this may damage the tank. Ensure the tank is stable and level upon tightening. Step 12. You can now fix the main water supply to the toilet tank. Do this by connecting a new water tubing to the fill valve. Use the coupling nut that came with the tube. Allow water to flow by turning on the main water supply to test for any leaks. Step 13. Finally, attach the new toilet seat. Thread the brass or plastic bolts that came with the new toilet seat into the holes on the rim. Attach the nuts from below and tighten it firmly in place.